Hi, my name is Al. I'm a science interpreter at the Franklin Institute, and I'm here to bring you this week's edition of Spark of Science. Do you recognize the sound? Listen closely. That's the sound of a human heartbeat. Scientists and physicians have observed the sound, function, and anatomy of the human heart for centuries in an attempt to better understand our own bodies. But did you know that this research is not confined to here on Earth? The International Space Station, which orbits around our planet at about 250 miles above the Earth's surface, is a science lab. Researchers from around the world conduct tests on all sorts of science topics. They even perform experiments on themselves. Since 2007, NASA has conducted a program called the Cardiovascular and Cerebrovascular Control on Return from ISS. This specific test examines the effects of long-term exposure to small amounts of gravity. Uh, they want to learn how this can affect an astronaut's heart rate, blood flow, and other physical changes that might occur, and how those changes can affect the astronaut once they return here to Earth. One of the most straightforward ways to study the human heart is to listen to a heartbeat. You can even listen to your own. Here on Earth and in the ISS, a tool called a stethoscope can be used to amplify the sound or to make it louder. You may recognize this if you've ever seen it at a doctor's office. Have you ever heard your own heartbeat? By creating an easy at-home stethoscope, you can start making your own observations. Let me show you how. Here's what you'll need. A funnel, a balloon, some scissors, and a piece of plastic tubing. These can be found at the hardware store. There are many different sizes, and you may need to have a grown-up pick out the right size to fit with your funnel. First, use your scissors to carefully cut your balloon like this. Next, cover the large opening of your funnel with the balloon. Stretching the balloon over the opening will help capture the vibration of your heartbeat. The last step is to connect your funnel to the plastic tube. Now you have a stethoscope. All right, so here's how to use your stethoscope. First, you want to find a spot with little to no noise interruptions. It'll be easier to hear. Take the balloon side and place it on your chest, slightly to the left. That's where your heart is located. Guide the tube to your ear. Don't stick it inside, but put it right at the opening so you can hear. Now be quiet and listen. So what have we learned about the effect of space on the human body? Well, researchers have found that astronauts experience something called orthostatic hypotension upon return to Earth. To put this more simply, astronauts experience a temporary drop in blood pressure. This occurs because their bodies get used to living in low gravity at the International Space Station. As they get closer to Earth, gravity begins to pull on their bodies, including their blood. It pulls the blood down from their bodies, down from their heads, causing less blood to be pumping near the brain. Um, this is what causes dizziness. Now, you may have even felt this before on the small scale if you've ever stood up too quickly before getting a little bit dizzy. Thanks for joining me for this edition of Spark of Science at Home. I hope to see you all again soon at the Franklin Institute, maybe even around the giant heart. Bye-bye now.